Honda revamped its classic-looking Metropolitan known in other markets as the Giorno for the 2016 model year. Early models enjoyed a bit of popularity starting back in 2002, but that took a hit with the changes made for the 13 models up through the 15s. The factory proves that it listens to customer feedback and acts on it with a fresh set of changes for the 2016 and 2017 models, tweaks that directly address the concerns coming from the customers. On the top of the list was a new, liquid-cooled engine that ramped up overall performance, as well as relocating the fuel tank for more storage under the seat. What we have now is a scooter that aims to regain the popularity it once enjoyed with a classic look and a revamped engine. On top, we have the headlight housing that extends to cover and conceal the entire handlebar from grip to grip with the round speedometer and switch housings all contained within. The curvaceousness continues in the front fairing and leg guard area with an almost dome shape to split the wind and shunt it off to the sides. Although the curves do continue into the deck and rear side covers, they re fairly one-dimensional and leave the rear end looking a little slab-sided. One of the griping points with the previous generation was the lack of storage. Honda tackles that problem with a lockable, 22-liter storage box under the seat, and a handful of storage options on the inner leg protector in the form of a swing-out earring hard point, an open cubbyhole and a latch-close glove box, plus the tween-feet spot on the flat deck.